Hey, bonsoir on South Africa tonight. Welcome back to ENCA. Caitlin Roeskrans won bronze in the women's artistic, gymnastics and even bars at the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham. The 20-year-old three-time African champion is undoubtedly a rising star. Caitlin, together with her lifelong coach, Ilse Pelser, joins me in studio after landing in South Africa just a few days ago. Good evening, ladies. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to speak to the sporting fraternity. Caitlin, I'm going to start with you. A historic moment in winning the bronze medal in the artistic gymnastics. I mean, now you get to tell the whole world how you did it. I'm <laughs> sure the feeling must have been out of this world, Caitlin. Um, thank you, and um, thank you so much for having me. And yeah, the feeling was absolutely indescribable. I don't think anything compares to standing on a podium internationally, especially in front of that Commonwealth crowd. That was um, absolutely amazing. They were, you know, so motivating. And I think, you know, having the opportunity and privilege to stand up on that podium was one of my biggest dreams achieved. Oh, well <laughs> done. And I mean, Caitlin, being one of the first ever artistic gymnasts of color, you know, your achievement has broken racial barriers. What more would you like your performance or what kind of impact can, you know, your bronze medal have on women in sports and women uh, in artistic gym, uh, gymnastics in South Africa? I think the biggest thing for me is, and this ties into my why for the sport, um, is to show the younger gymnasts, you know, that it is possible. And it is possible for not only women in sport, but a gymnast of color, you know, to yeah. get into the sport and break those um, previously known barriers of gymnastics being a predominantly white sport and that yes. it is open to you know the goals little goals of color and that you can dream big and you can achieve it fantastic coach <laughs> Ilsa you've known her for 15 years I mean this medal must be priceless and a milestone for you surely yeah definitely I think um, it was our first medal on the uneven bars at the Commonwealth Games uh, she's also come off some other medals she won um, the World Cup uh, medal in Cairo and she also won the African Championships all around competition and the well, uh, medal on the gold medal on bars so you know it's it's she's one of the hardest working uh, most hardest working gymnasts that I've ever coached um, and on top of that she's a really nice person and I think um, the the discipline w uh, mixed together with the hard work and the tenacity um, is a recipe for success and not just in gymnastics but also um, for the future you know in whatever she decides she wants to do with her life after gymnastics I think she'll make a huge success of it. Well coach she's 20 years old I wonder what more she's got for us we can't wait to see you know the talents that she has let me stay with you coach you're also the owner of the Johannesburg Gymnastics Center I mean what are some of the challenges that you have faced in getting young girls even guys involved in the sport let alone getting Caitlin and fine-tuning her talent you know to eventually one day become a medalist at the Commonwealth Games. I know, for example, uh, sometimes, you know, equipment is an issue, something like a million rand to get equipment. And part of, well, mainly uh, importing that equipment from the USA, surely that's something that's not um, easy to operate, um, you know, for so many years. Yeah, look, I think it's, um, we've been fortunate in the past. Um, quite some time ago, we had a little bit of lot lotto funding that helped us with, with equipment, but there's a definite need at the moment for uh, a, f a new floor. And a new floor, uh, we have to import from the UK or the USA, and it's definitely, it's uh, between a million and, and 1.2 million rand. Wow. And um, without it, we actually, as a club, won't be able to continue pr producing the results that we are. So. It's a, a big challenge and something that I really, um, you know, I'm hoping that we can get some help with because, you know, there are many challenges. You know, it's, it's, it's expensive to do gymnastics. It, it's expensive to travel overseas. And we've got um, a lot of people that are trying to back us. But unfortunately, with equipment um, that, that we have to import, it's, yeah, it makes it, makes it very difficult. So... Wow. Yeah, that's our, I, I would say at the moment that's our biggest need to be able to continue to produce good results. Hey, you've got good results. You've got a Commonwealth Games bronze medalist in Caitlin, so well done on that. I mean, Caitlin, you won gold at the World Cup in Cairo, as Coach mentioned earlier on. Does that inspire you and motivate you to go for gold at the Olympics? Um, yeah, so I think, you know, all the medals that I've achieved along the way definitely does give me a big boost and motivation for my next big goal, which is the Olympic Games ultimate, ultimately. Um, but for me, it's not as much as it is about getting to the Games again. I think, you know, I've 
we really went to the games and it is a big goal to go again but for now I think my biggest thing is really to enjoy the journey and getting there along the way and that also includes you know going to different World Cups and having different events where I have the potential to hopefully get more and more medals and um, yeah rise the standard for gymnastics and hopefully you know we can better the result from the last Olympic Games. Good. Firstly, uh, qu very quickly, actually, uh, you're a first year student at UJ. What are you studying? How do you balance your studies and being a professional athlete as well? Yes, so correct. I am a first year student at UJ and I'm studying a BCom marketing management degree. Um, yeah, I went into it because I really wanted to somehow stay within not only gymnastics but sport in the country um, and make a difference there. But I didn't really want to do it from like in the gym side. I wanted to do it more from like the marketing and ah. business side of it. Um, so yeah, um, so far it's been good, but it's been really challenging as I expected it to be. Um, I've also traveled quite a few times this year, so it has <laughs> proved to be really difficult. But you know, I think my, I've been doing this my whole life where I've been balancing academics and traveling and gymnastics and kind of just learning to multitask with everything. So I think all of that um, experience throughout the years has really you know helped me this year to kind of try and find the balance but yeah it's all in the time management I good guess. good I love that time management <coughs> closing question what's your next major event how are the preparations going regarding that coach okay so we've got world championships coming up in um, less than three months time so that's mm -hmm. at the end of October for us um, a big goal there is to to try and improve on our international personal best so uh, Caitlin scored an international PB last year in Tokyo and then improved on that this year at the African Championships and we definitely want to try and just take another step up at this year's World Championships because I think that will give us a good indication of where we're at for, um, Tokyo, uh, for qualification for Paris in 2024. Fantastic. Caitlin, less than 30 seconds, your last words. <laughs> Um, just, you know, that thank you firstly for having me and my coach here, but also um, thank you to everyone that is supporting us and has supported us along this journey. And we, I hope that we continue to make you proud and that you, you know, continue to watch us. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Always great to have you in studio. You. That was Commonwealth Games bronze medalist uh, Caitlin Roosecrans and her coach Ilsa Palsa. Sally, happy to have brought you uh, these interviews.